Hi guys, I'm back again after a long week. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonas Sumstal. Hi guys, so it's been a while, no? Since I've given my last vlog. It's a very, very busy weeks. For me, I've been doing a lot of clinical stuff. So, siempre, it's more than vlogging, but you know, doing the real thing, which is dentistry and the clinic. Yet another vlog that I am going to present to you, a very, very interesting case na most of you guys can relate. Again, lockdown na naman, so stay safe, guys. Sa clinic, open pa rin kami, but skeletal with full protection, of course. My staff are all vaccinated, so no worries about it. But, syempre, we really have to take this uh, seriously. And uh, if you do have any concerns, just message us, okay? We can help you. And also with our Ask Dr. J Thursday segment, we can ask questions also if you really want to know more about dentistry. So this is a case of a young beautiful woman, okay, on her mid-twenties. She's actually uh, one of our winners of no? the Smile Makeover Contest. She went to our dental office with the chief complaint of having this unsatisfied smile. Currently, she's wearing a removable denture. This Okay, so she's not really satisfied with her smile. So. Why? So let's find out. As you can see here, there's an issue with the size and the length of the central incisors. We're talking about the inverted incisors, okay? It's actually giving this patient this aging effect. Medyo hindi maganda, nakakatanda yung itsura. It's because of the sizes. An equal distribution of the length and also hindi siya nakafollow sa ideal sets of the natural ideal golden proportion of the teeth. So this one, this denture, okay, that she's currently wearing, tagal na yan. It's been like more than five years na. She had extraction on her front teeth, no? The two central incisors and one upper left lateral. So as you can see here, the distribution of the denture is not that lifelike. It's because of the width of the teeth and the arch as well. So we are not just looking uh, on the dentures per se, but also to the full structure of the face in relation to the face. Well, we are trying to check here the volume of the upper central stop, medulobo. There's a huge loss of bone after extraction. That's really the purpose why we want to uh, save teeth because pag nabunot yan, okay, the bone will decrease its size tapos the gums follows the contour and the height of the bone giving you this very flat appearance of the upper teeth na pag madami, magmukha siyang parang aging factor na na medyo hindi masyadong maganda na magiging obvious na parang kulang yung volume ng upper front yung. We have to create an illusion that would make sure that we will cover the loss of volume of the gums and bone on the front teeth. So if we will do something about it, we'll make sure na we will extend the porcelain on that area to create an illusion and also support for the upper lip. So as patient requested, she wanted to have a natural looking Confident, the beautiful smile. So the treatment for this would be a bridge, okay, on the upper teeth, and also we will make sure that we mimic the color of the lower as well. Pero a little bit brighter, kasi gusto niya mas presentable. Of course, we did the smile design to make sure that there's no guesswork. Okay, we have to have this prediction, okay, of the final outcome of the case. So the smile design is like the blueprint of our final goal, no? Okay, so after the preparation, we did the um, final impression and we run it with our scanner and in my CAD CAM machine. So created 
zirconia core and then we build it up with the Emax porcelain okay we fused it okay to create the balance between the durability as well as aesthetics so we combine that in. and also we give the patient this natural looking with translucency as you can see here it looks really natural it has pink porcelain okay that mimics the color of the gums okay and we added a little bit of volume there para hindi naman siya lubog tingnan okay to compensate the loss of volume of that area four to six more days later so after 10 days the patient went back to my clinic for try-in so before we cement the restoration permanently we have to do try-in first the bath lo and behold hindi siya maganda lo and behold hindi siya maganda And <laughs> ganun talaga sometimes because of the complexity of the teeth. We're not just dealing with teeth, but also lahat lahat kung babagay. So I made two sets, okay, just to ensure that we will give the best treatment for the patient. So the first set was a bit off. It's because of the distribution ng ipen. We are not just looking at the teeth, eh, but also the gums. So medyo nakakalito siya sometimes especially with that kind of complexities no? and uh, the result that we want for the patient. So even with my designing, sometimes there are some changes and modifications along the way. So we have predicted it naman and that's why we did the two sets for the patient para at least diba? we are confident that we can deliver the result na gusto natin. Four to six more days later. So after 10 days, dun na, natapos na namin and the patient was really happy of the result. And yun, yung sinasabi nga namin, it's not really about if you are like a winner of our smell makeover thing, you know. It doesn't really mean that we will not give what's best for the patient because the patient is patient. So yun. So this is the final outcome. Okay. It looks really natural. Of course, the patient would have at least few more weeks to months of adjusting. Okay, especially the lips because we changed the volume. As you can see here, we banal yung height ng kanyang two central incisors and the laterals. As you can see, also the distribution dito sa premolar and canines mas maganda na. And the look of the gum, the gum-like effect no, na ginawa namin. It really complements the volume yung sinasabi ko na nawala. It added more points, no? Also, we did run it with our T-scan to make sure and ensure that the occlusion would be perfect or on point because it will not give patient a good functional standpoint, you know, if the bite is off. So, it's part of the package that we have to make sure that it should be functional, healthy, and beautiful at the same time. One week later. So we did another follow-up after a week no, to clean all the excess cement. I did the T-scan and also for the night guard. Okay, so ang dami nakapansin that she has a beautiful smile and she's more confident about herself. Okay, that is really satisfying of a positive thing for me because it's really our goal to give you guys this confidently beautiful apostolified smile. We'll be seeing you guys again for my next vlog. Smile transformation case again. Every vlog, okay? So that you can relate and you can be able to see that there is hope, okay? So, God bless and stay safe. Before, I feel so not confident when smiling, especially when talking to my um, colleagues in the office or to my friends or when we do travel. When we do pictures or videos, I always like um, a minimalist smile. Um, but then after the transformation made by Apostol Dental Clinic, I have been uh, really grateful because of the result. It was very natural looking and um, now my confidence has been really boosted. Because my work is mostly um, on video conference now and um, now I can s um, say what I want um, in a confident way. Um, once again, thank you Apostol Dental Clinic for this opportunity and uh, hope uh, you'll be able to help uh, many patients soon like me. Thank you!